Man United have already been told their perfect 34 million pounds Jaden Sancho transfer replacement. Sancho's future at Old Trafford looks bleak, and United could look to replace him in the summer transfer window. As Manchester United's players return for pre-season, one of the first things in the club's in-tray will be to sort out the future of England international winger Jaden Sancho. Sancho fell out with United manager Eric Ten Hag last season after he publicly responded to the Dutchman after comments about his performance levels in training. Ten Hag banished him from first-team training as a result, and the matter has not yet been resolved. Sancho is yet to apologize, and, until he does, his future at Old Trafford remains bleak. He enjoyed a successful loan spell at former Borussia Dortmund during the second half of last season, and the German club are keen to re-sign Sancho this summer. With Ten Hag signing a contract extension with United, his future is almost certainly going to be elsewhere, regardless of whether it is with D. Schwarzgelben. As such, United will be in the market for a replacement, and they have already been linked with a player who could represent the ideal alternative to Sancho. Using Macro Football's Player Impact Tool, which uses analytics to understand a player's seasonal impact to see which players in European football's top five leagues are most similar to Sancho's characteristics, Bayer Leverkusen star Jeremy Frimpong ranks in the top five most similar players. United have already been linked with the Dutch international, and it is believed the German side would listen to offers in excess of 34 million plus add-ons this summer. Frimpong scored 14 goals and registered 12 assists in all competitions last term, as Leverkusen won an unbeaten Bundesliga title, won the DFB Pokal, and were beaten in the final of the Europa League. The 23-year-old, who was part of a Celtic side who won the domestic treble in 2019-22, largely operates as a right-wing back, but can be used as a right-back or right-winger as well. He is currently part of the Netherlands Euro 2024 squad, alongside Joshua Zerksy and Matthijs de Ligt, who have both also been heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford this summer. The future of Jadon Sancho at Manchester United has garnered attention amid suggestions that his tenure at Old Trafford may be in jeopardy. Reports indicate that United could be considering alternatives and looking to potentially replace Sancho during the upcoming summer transfer window. Sancho, once heralded as a marquee signing for United, has faced challenges in consistently asserting himself on the pitch and meeting the high expectations set upon his arrival from Borussia Dortmund. Despite flashes of his undeniable talent and creativity, Sancho's adaptation to the Premier League and United's tactical setup has been a work in progress. United's reported contemplation of alternatives signals a proactive approach to addressing squad needs and optimizing their attacking options. The club's ambitions to compete at the highest levels necessitate a strategic assessment of their roster, including potential changes in personnel to enhance performance and achieve their objectives. For Sancho, the prospect of a departure from Old Trafford could represent a pivotal juncture in his career. His potential availability may attract interest from clubs across Europe eager to capitalize on his talents and provide a platform for him to showcase his abilities more consistently. As the summer transfer window unfolds, the footballing world will monitor developments surrounding Sancho's future with keen interest. United's decisions regarding his tenure will not only shape their squad dynamics, but also offer insights into their strategic direction and ambitions moving forward. The fallout between Sancho and United manager Eric Ten Hag last season, tensions simmered within the club. The rift stemmed from public remarks made by Ten Hag regarding Sancho's training performance, which sparked a contentious exchange between the two. Initially, the relationship between Sancho and Ten Hag had shown promise. Sancho's arrival at Old Trafford had been met with optimism, with fans eager to see his skill and creativity on display. However, as the season progressed, Ten Hag's coaching style and expectations clashed with Sancho's approach. The turning point came when Ten Hag, known for his meticulous attention to detail and rigorous training sessions, voiced his disappointment with Sancho's consistency in training. 
In a press conference, he emphasized the need for all players to maintain high performance levels both on and off the pitch. This public critique did not sit well with Sancho, who felt unfairly singled out. In response, Sancho, known for his professionalism and dedication to the game, defended himself in interviews, highlighting his commitment. Meanwhile, in other news, additionally on a related note, furthermore, as for turning to elsewhere. In the meantime, moving on. Benny McCarthy is set to leave Man United after his current deal expires this month, despite Eric Ten Hag requesting that the Red Devils renew the coach's contract. Benny McCarthy will reportedly leave Manchester United at the end of this month. The coach, who has been working with the forwards at Old Trafford, sees his contract come to an end, following two seasons at the club. McCarthy, a former Blackburn Rovers striker, wishes to get back into the dugout as a manager, according to The Athletic. One of Ten Hag's requests for renewing his contract at Old Trafford was the extension of McCarthy's deal, as per The Sun. However, while the Dutchman is closing in on a new deal, he will seemingly be leading the team without McCarthy's assistance. McCarthy was praised for helping Marcus Rashford to have his best-ever season in 2022-23, during which he scored 30 goals in all competitions. Last season was not so strong as United only managed 57 Premier League goals, though that is a fairly typical total in the post-Sir Alex Ferguson era, and not their lowest. United are aiming to hire two coaches to cover for the departures of McCarthy and Eric Ramsey, the first team coach who left in February to manage MLS outfit Minnesota United. The Red Devils hope to appoint Ruud van Nistelrooy and Rene Haak, the manager of Dutch club Go Ahead Eagles. They wish to bring in Haak, 52, as well as Van Nistelrooy as senior coaches in a move that will raise questions over the futures of Ten Hag's current assistants, Mitchell van der Gog and Steve McLaren. Haake has a similar background to Ten Hag, having been brought up in the east of Holland. He went into management at Ten Hag's first club as a player, FC 20, and the two men have also coached Utrecht and Go Ahead Eagles. Haak led the Deventer-based club into Europe for only the third time in their history, and the first time in nine years, when they beat Utrecht in extra time of a Europa Conference playoff last month. Haak and Van Nistelrooy have been lined up as part of an overhaul of the United coaching staff after Ten Hag kept his job following an end-of-season review. The 54-year-old United boss is currently in talks over a new contract as his current deal enters its final year. Discussions are said to be positive, and it's hoped the two sides can agree terms before Ten Hag returns for pre-season early next month. The situation involving Benny McCarthy at Manchester United appears to be characterized by conflicting reports and decisions. Despite Eric Ten Hag, Manchester United's manager, requesting that the club renew McCarthy's contract, it's been reported that McCarthy is set to depart once his current deal expires this month. This apparent discrepancy suggests a complex behind-the-scenes scenario where managerial preferences may not align with broader organizational decisions. McCarthy's impending departure, despite a renewal request from Ten Hag, indicates that other factors or decisions within the club may have influenced the outcome. Such situations are not uncommon in football, where staffing decisions can be influenced by various considerations, including budget constraints, strategic re-evaluations, or differing visions for the coaching staff's composition. For Manchester United, the departure of McCarthy, a coach potentially valued by Ten Hag, could prompt further adjustments in the club's coaching structure or recruitment plans as they prepare for upcoming seasons. As developments unfold, fans and pundits alike may speculate on the implications of McCarthy's exit and its potential impact on United's coaching dynamics and future performance under Ten Hag's leadership. If Eric Ten Hag indeed requested the renewal of Benny McCarthy's contract as part of his conditions for extending his own contract at Manchester United, it underscores the manager's belief in McCarthy's coaching abilities and the value he brings to the club's coaching staff. 
The reported request suggests that Ten Hag values McCarthy's contribution to the team's coaching setup and sees him as a key asset in implementing his footballing philosophy and strategies. By advocating for McCarthy's contract extension, Ten Hag likely aimed to maintain continuity and stability within the coaching staff, ensuring a cohesive approach to player development and tactical preparation. However, despite Ten Hag's request, the situation appears to have taken a different turn, with reports indicating that McCarthy is set to leave once his current deal expires. This discrepancy highlights the complexities involved in staffing decisions at football clubs, where various factors such as budget considerations, strategic realignments, and organizational priorities can influence outcomes. For Manchester United, the departure of McCarthy, despite Ten Hag's endorsement, may prompt adjustments in their coaching structure and recruitment plans moving forward.